All right, guys, we are back again with another episode of Mashoku Tensai. We have episode six here, up and ready to go. Last episode, we met Eris, Eris, whatever you want to call her. She is an interesting character for sure. She's a bit rough around the edges, but she did seem to gain a little bit of respect for Rudy. And I'm hoping that this arc goes well for him but i am intrigued to know like how they're going to continue on with this like is rudy just going to tutor this girl for a little bit and to get tutored by gizlane they did have last episode he was like affected by that blood and the headless body that he saw i don't know if they'll continue with that we're just gonna hop right into it and see what happens so let's go what oh yeah just don't tell anyone Rudy was involved. Yeah, don't let any of the gray rats. How many gray rats is there? How did I know? <laughs> at least, at least she noticed. She's like, um, looking at me funny. Oh. This family and just abusing their sons. <laughs> Sorry, that's not even funny. Why am I laughing at that? That's fucked up. But man, okay, this guy, you know, at least he's showing gratitude. He's like, hey, why are you why are you trying to prank this savior? Apologize. Yeah, not a very apologetic family, I don't think. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Damn, he's even standing. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough, Rudy is. There he is. It's <laughs> one way to get her here. Rudy, he's always thinking kind of like a step ahead. Well, maybe it's because he's like, what, 40 something, 30 something. So he's not that afraid to like stand up for himself. Obviously, it's awkward because he got this huge guy here. You don't want to disrespect him. You just saw him, his own son, he just fucking, bam, just bitch slapped him across the room. You don't want to mess with this guy. But Rudy, he's still like, no, maybe you should let her ask herself because like she needs to learn that sort of thing. I'm surprised more people aren't like, damn, this Rudy kid, like, very, why is this man so wise for his age? And obviously I'm thinking that too. Like this man was a recluse. Like, did he learn all this from like visual novels? Like, is that, do I need to play more visual novels to learn all these good life lessons? Like, I'm playing the wrong games, man. That's for yourself. Yeah, don't be too proud. Come here. Oh, so she, yeah, she straight up asked him. Oh, okay, man, maybe you know, bring it down a tad. <laughs> can't even, can't even look him in the eyes. <laughs> Oh, she better slap him? Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack here. There's, <laughs> There's a lot to talk about. Though I don't know how to how to even like Say it? Why? Is there anything I can say at this point? Like, should I? Maybe I shouldn't say anything. Maybe I just shouldn't. They're acting like nothing's wrong. 
uh, even though there was an incredibly awkward silence. Stuck your hips out more. Where are you learning this from? Beast people. Oh. <laughs> Rudy's like, no, no, I don't care. I can't accept that. Okay, so the family likes, they're fond of beast people. Hopefully they respect their servants then because they're all beast people, I guess. Is that why they're all beast people? Is they only hire beast people to help out? Okay, so she's all right with the sword. Actually, it's not bad at all because, you know, Rudy's getting paid and he's also learning swordsmanship from like a professional, so. It's pretty cool. Damn. Is that Roxy? Man's magic is so precise. He can form wax figures with his fire. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's not how you... Don't burn the house down. Gotta teach her some water magic too, maybe, as like a safety measure. Punches <laughs> me. It comes back. <laughs> I'm starting to think she might not be taking Rudy a little seriously. <laughs> Gosh. This dude just goes to sleep? No. No. No, dude. That is 100% the most fucked up thing Rudy has done so far. Stealing panties? Sure. You know, stripping, stripping self naked, it was an action. Ah, uh, I don't know. That's not even like a funny joke either. I don't know if they were trying to make that funny or if it's just part of his character, like maybe an arc or something. I hope this man learns not to do that shit. I can understand why a lot of you were saying like in these episodes is kind of where a lot of people get iffy because if that's just the start, like, damn, I hope that's not meant to be a joke. Cause that was a little, like, that felt wrong to me. What? She's a child, man. What the fuck, dude? No, dude. Can, I honestly, I want to skip this. I, I, I genuinely want to skip this whole scene. Like, bro, I hope she wakes up and kicks your ass, dude. You weird motherfucker. Yeah, fucking burn his face off or something. Teach him a lesson. Yeah, nice. That was the most deserved. Yeah, let's go. Got to defend herself. Yeah, you deserve that. You deserve more. I'll ask Gizli. No, you don't deserve help. Like, that's the worst thing is like, in most animes, that would have been a misunderstanding, right? Like he could have, he would have like tripped and his hands would have went in there and she would have woken up and beat his ass. And then you'd be like, oh man, that feels so bad. But no, that man was actually like sexually assaulting her in her sleep. Man deserved that beating. I hope Eris should tell Gislaine, and then Gislaine can beat his ass too, honestly. Oh, we're getting some inspiration from her. Yeah, she couldn't she couldn't do anything for herself, couldn't calculate money. <laughs> I went ten days. <laughs> Eight months? Well, if this doesn't inspire Harris, I don't know what will. I don't know. You want to eat monster shit? Is that what you want to do, Eddie? And she's so into it. Yep. Okay. Hey, it worked. Or no. She's still like, eh. Oh, no. She's like, come on. Come on, give it to me. <laughs> okay, I did not think that would work. Ooh. Honestly... Hit him with a couple more. Yep. Yep. Oh, that feels so good, man. That feels good to watch. Ooh. Heavenly noises of this man getting his ass beat. Before, I would have felt a little bit bad before this episode. But after seeing what this man does, you know what? Every time he gets hit, I'm going to be a little bit happy. I think in the whole future of this show, every time he gets hit, it's going to be like, okay. Yeah. Deserved. <laughs> it was so much work. Well, just about everybody. Who's ever had a job? Oh, <laughs> uh, he made one for like everybody. Last one, yeah, he's got to work hard. Five years? It's five years? Oh, yo, she's gonna, she's gonna beat your ass. You didn't even do anything. 
Yeah, back up a little bit. Oh! She has no time off. Yeah. <laughs> has to give her a bit of a break, maybe. Okay, yeah. No, that's still affecting him. Good. I'm glad that they're touching on that a bit. <laughs> I'm glad everyone can like sense his bad vibes that's coming out, coming out of this man's brain. It's like, I know what you're thinking, you freaking perv. No, don't be some sketchy, please. What is that? Medicine? I am so just, what the fuck, man? Do these people just not realize that Rudy is an eight-year-old child? Like, does the author of this manga, like, you couldn't have made him, like, at least a few years older? Like, I know in medieval times, they kind of did things a lot quicker, right? So maybe that's what they're referring to. But it's also, like, I don't know if they did it so quick that, like, before they're ten. Clerks are trying to sell him this shit. Sorry, I shouldn't be, like, upset about realism. I'm more upset about what the fuck is going on. Like, I know Rudy's going to want to buy that, right? He might even buy that. And it's like, what are you going to use it for? Present for your... <laughs> okay, that was a bit of a funny line. It would be a perfect present for your dad. <laughs> God, that would be awkward as hell. <laughs> Even Gislaine, trying to figure it out. Yeah, Gislaine got it. <laughs> yeah, maybe just make her, it's her day off, make her feel good. Okay, well, you know, hopefully he didn't buy that thing. Is this man sitting on Gislaine's lap right now? Oh, <laughs> just gonna say what's going on here. That makes more sense. Wow. Yeah, she has no idea what's going on. Two gold pieces. Wow. Yeah, but that's only two. She thought five. Yeah, and only two. So she is greatly overestimating. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good lesson to teach, I guess. It's kind of crazy that Rudy's like being more of a parent than the dad is. <laughs> Give you an allowance? Yeah, I mean, sure. You gotta get her used to the money, right? The fuck is that? <laughs> Just a floating castle? The Armored Dragon King? That sounds badass! Why haven't I heard of that before? Who beat the demon god? Oh, so man, this has a floating castle? Four fourteen. So, so it's been four hundred and fourteen years, and he's still alive. That guy. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> he's still just chilling up there. Oh my god, no! No! <laughs> it's an allowance, but it was like 10 gold pieces, wasn't it? How much is her allowance? And he took it anyway. Don't. You son of a bitch. Some medicine for. Uh, save it for when you're older, man. Don't. Uh, I don't trust Rudy. Not even slightly. Oh god, it's gonna break. You know what? That's for the best. Um. Uh, yeah. Talk about it. <laughs> it's like, what? I didn't even buy it. No. <laughs> you know what? You deserve it. You deserve the tickle torture, okay? You dirty ass motherfucker. Like, it's... Yeah, she... He did buy it. That's a step up, I guess. But you know he wanted to. You know he was gonna go back for that thing, so... Man, I don't know, like, that episode was fine. Like, it wasn't my favorite, for sure. And it definitely, like, I can see why you guys are mentioning some people drop the show 
around this episode, I think, and maybe next episode. I'll have to wait and see what next episode brings as well. I'm not going to drop it, I don't think, because so far they've done enough character moments and sort of like redemption stuff. I hope it's like well-placed faith that they're not going to just let Rudy keep doing that sort of stuff. Because, yeah, doing that while she was sleeping, that's not really a f funny joke, I don't think. Like, maybe that's just me. I don't like to be, like, you know, a negative person, but obviously that's not... That's kind of a serious thing to do. <laughs> it's kind of a weird joke to make. I don't know if that's on purpose, like, they're making us feel awkward like that, or if they the author genuinely thought that was a funny thing to do. If that's the case, that's... a weird <laughs> but no you guys can let me know in the comments if like you know if does i know that the dirty comments are probably here to stay but that sort of stuff that goes like a little bit too far does it continue with that or does he get better because you guys have been telling me like it's a it's very much like a redemption sort of story or just him becoming like a better person sort of situation with rudy that's what a lot of comments have been telling me so i hope that that's the part of him that improves that gets better. Just, no, I'll have to wait and see. Like, I'm not dropping the show because of it. Unless, like, next episode is so incredibly uncomfortable that I just can't put up with it. Because, honestly, like, during that scene, this episode, I was very tempted to skip it. Because that was just weird. That was awkward. That was cringy. Just a very odd choice to make. But maybe it has a meaning, a purpose for the future. But, no, other than, like, that, avoiding that big issue. <laughs> The episode was all right. Like, it's showing how he, he is definitely growing as, like, a, a more mature person, I guess. Like, he's setting... Oh, it feels weird, man. It feels weird to say he's setting, a, like, some good examples for Eris. Because, you know, he is teaching her don't be spoiled. Kind of teaching him how money works. Teaching her how money works. And he's also helping Gislaine, and he's learning himself too. He's learning the sword, and he's taking that opportunity. So I do like that he is improving himself as well. He's not just saying like, oh, I got this magic. Like, that's all I'm going to stick with. That's all I need. It's good that he is learning that stuff, and he is trying to set a good example for Ares. Just, you know, he definitely has some big negatives going on there, but we can hope that changes in the future. Obviously, a bit of world building with that one, um, Peru, Perugius, Perugius, uh, that guy with his floating castle up there, and learning about that whole, you know, evil guy who wanted to kill people, just defeating him. So that's definitely going to come into play in the future. Like, obviously, I'm sure we're going to make it up there. And yeah, that is an interesting thing. Like, he, it's been 400 years. And is that guy still just alive up there? Is that normal? Like, do some people in this world live for that long? Probably. Like, it's a fantasy world. There's probably, like, I don't know, wizards who can keep you young or potions or something. I'm definitely intrigued to see where that comes in. Like, so far, like, we're on episode six and there hasn't been really, like, a huge overarching plot introduced in this show. Like, I, I don't think that's really, like, the focus yet because, yeah, you guys have been telling me it's more about the characters, this show. It's just I'd be surprised if we don't have some sort of, like, battle or villain or sort of thing in a world like this. It would be fine. Like, it would be a nice change between, like, you know other shows still like you know when they're introducing stuff like that like that guy up there and evil demon lords and shit like laplace or whatever laplace uh it makes me think maybe they'll make some sort of effect on the story right like maybe that guy will come back or maybe he wasn't defeated in the first place something like that anyway like nothing introduced like that yet so i don't know if they are having something like that so far it's just the characters Rudy learning stuff, Ares learning stuff. I feel bad for Sylph, man. I can't stop feeling bad for Sylph because I thought this whole tutoring thing was only gonna be for like, I don't know, two, three years. But man said five years, five years. And the, what, he only earns like two silver pieces per month? I guess maybe they'll have just a big time jump or we just might not see Sylph again for a little while, I don't know. It's interesting, they, they keep introducing these characters obviously Rudy's parents, and then we have Syl and Roxy, and we haven't seen them, 
Like, I don't know if they're going to make a comeback in this season or at all. Like, if they're going for a realistic thing, sure, yeah, he wouldn't see them for a little while. But I do like Sylph's character, at least. And it'd be nice to see Roxy again. So, I don't know. It, it really depends. I'm trying to still get a grasp on, like, what kind of... How much realism they're going for. Because they are trying to be pretty real with the characters and their personalities. But also, like, it is still a fantasy genre anime with magic and shit. They're probably going to follow some tropes every now and then. And I believe we've sort of been introduced to all the main characters at this point. If, if I'm going off the poster for this season, like the, the poster on like my anime list or whatever, I think we've met basically everybody that's on that poster. But yeah, no, this episode, it definitely, like, it wasn't my favorite. It had some very sketchy moments with, you know, the Ares sleeping and the aphrodisiac was... The aphrodisiac was definitely more of a joke, which I like, I appreciate. Nothing really bad came out of it. It's just the idea of it. Like, why would Rudy want that? You're a child. <laughs> I don't know, though. Definitely, like, it, it was fine. It was a fine episode. Not my favorite, but it gave us a bit of world building and kind of you know, showed us them progressing anyway. So, no, good episode. I'm going to keep this video short, though. It wasn't anything that special for me. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel want to stay updated on this series or any of my other series i'm currently doing kodoko no basket season two season one is already done can go check it out comment down below just whatever you want to say about the show episode whatever series let me know if you know rudy keeps doing fucked up shit like that because that's a little bit sketchy for my liking and i don't know how i really don't know how youtube feels about that sort of stuff either <laughs> like just showing that like obviously they air it on tv so just like i can't really make jokes about it or anything so just yeah let me know you guys have been good with kind of keeping me informed about the situation uh let me know about that and obviously i do have a patreon link down below in the description if you want early access to the next episode plus it helps to support me a little bit more it's highly appreciated so yeah that's gonna be it from me so i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll talk to you all later peace